Well, I don't know if he's going to shock the world, but he, but Douglas has shocked me so far. <laughs> Mike Tyson now is really serious now. He's really, really rushing this man coming in, but they may fall in the hands of Buster Douglas. Good left to the body by Tyson. That's the kind of blow which has done a lot of damage to previous challenges. You hear his corner, Tyson's corner saying, be smart, work your way in. Another good right, but Tyson comes right through it. Douglas still outlanding Tyson, out throwing him. Okay, Again, okay. Jim, the, the yellow from Tyson's corner is to work your way in, not to walk in there because that jeopardizes you, puts you in a lot of trouble. Douglas hey, hey, hey. accurate with the jab. Miran told him, telling him not to hold and hit. No, 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 no. Now what Douglas can't do, he can't allow himself to get frustrated and try to exchange with Tyson. That could be fatal. I'm surprised I don't see as many body shots thrown by Mike Tyson. That would bring those hands down of Buster Douglas. Right hand by Tyson moving in. All right. Left and a right by Douglas. Tyson seems a little more precise in this round as he tries to move in, but it is still Douglas who is throwing and landing more often. Working behind the jab, as is his custom. Those right-hand leads have been very effective. They have been, but also you got to get those hands back up. What Douglas is doing, he's not allowing Mike to get his punches off to the midsection. Although there was a right hand to the ribcage there. Again, the yellow from Tyson's corner combination is not one punch. And that's why Douglas is able to get his combinations off, because he's only expecting a one-punch retaliation. Great, 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 great. Tyson's trying to leap in behind the left hook. He landed that one under Douglas's chin near the middle of the chest. Douglas with another right hand to the top of Tyson's head. Again, Tyson's corner yelling, you've got to punch inside. Good solid left jab by Douglas. Tyson raised him with the right. Three, three. Six, four, one inside. Don't you stand there looking at the work. You're not closing the gap, Mike. You got to get inside by jabbing and moving your head. When you get in the inside, you got to punch. All right? Come on. Punch, Mike. Jab, 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 overhand, right, come back with your left foot. Okay? Relax. Oh, you're too flat footed in there. All right. Okay? Trust get that in what you know. Do it. Let it go. <coughs> Don't be so cautious with the punches. Let them back them up. This is the first time since Kevin Rooney hasn't been with Mike Tyson that he's needed some answers from the corner. Let's see if he's got the right answer. They're trying to make him just fight, not look to just wing big punches, expecting Douglas to fall the first time he lands something. And the man who does most of the talking in Tyson's corner and who leans forward to whisper in his ear is Aaron Snow. If you watch what Douglas is doing now, he's trying to double that jab up. And see, the second jab is not really hard, but it blinds you for a fraction of a second. That's when you drop the right hand. And you notice Douglas is trying to throw not just one jab, but two jabs. There was an expression on Tyson's face, and uh, I can relate to that, because sometimes you get into the ring, Jim, you just don't have it. Things just don't click in. And maybe that's what he's feeling now. He's just not on. Well, we're in round four, and a lot of ringside observers didn't expect the fight to go this far. It should be pointed out that stamina has been a problem for Buster Douglas throughout his career. 
and in the last two weeks he's been bothered by respiratory illness here was taking penicillin just this past week and antihistamines you have to wonder how far he can go at this level of effectiveness Douglas still landing the jab and then stepping away. Tyson seems less aggressive than is normally the case. Perhaps a little frustrated. Well, Buster Douglas definitely is inspired because of the tragedy, the passing of his mother. And reminds me of when Howard Davis' mother passed during the 1976 Olympics. It really motivated him because he was doing it for mom. Everyone in Douglas's camp said that would be the case today. It was extremely close to his mother. Right hand by Douglas, right on Tyson's chin. The double jabs, especially with a big man, is difficult to penetrate. Always difficult to penetrate. Critics of Tyson say that since the departure of Kevin Rooney, he has been increasingly easy to hit. There's very little head movement here today. I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. Mike Tyson is Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's a natural fighter. You don't think that the loss of Rooney as trainer has made any difference? I don't really believe that. But one thing about it, I guess that must you know, be a little contradictory, but normally keep the same family, it's always a plus. But then, then again, sometimes you must change. As you did. Yes. Good left hook Douglas by Douglas. again with a left and a right. And now Tyson lands a right hand and backs Buster up, but here he comes. Mike, when Mike always points, Mike is dropping his hands, which is very dangerous. Well, if Mike Tyson, who loves pigeons, was looking for a pigeon in this fight, he hasn't found him. You've got to use that seven to get inside, Mike, to back this guy up, and you've got to move that head. All right? Get that rhythm. And, a, and there, of course, is a vendor Holyfield who has a guarantee of $12 million to fight Mike Tyson in June. And right now, that $12 million isn't in the bank. Okay. You're coming back. You want all four rounds. You, you got to hold your rounds. concentration. Now you'll, go, you'll come back. Everything will be there. Everything will be there, Chance. The word to Douglas people tell Douglas he's won all four rounds. And shockingly, I agree with them. Trainer J.D. McCauley and manager John Johnson very calm in the Douglas corner. He's thrown 114 jabs in the bout, and by punch stat computations, he has landed almost half of them. Extremely effective working behind the left jab, Buster Douglas. Now Tyson lands a jab. This is the round in which Tyson turned things around against Frank Bruno. Right hand by Douglas lands again. He's been very quick with it. No, no Douglas getting the breathing here, very smart, very, very smart. He throws his combination, then he ties him up. There's just no head movement there, Ray. Mike is a stationary target for this guy. Well, that's the, uh, that's the reason his corner is so petrified, because they see that Mike has become some of a stationary target, directly in front of Buster Douglas. That's why the right hand's been hit later. Okay. Now, this, this is totally uncharacteristic of Mike Tyson. He's right there in front of his opponent. Not doing anything. Just reaching in. There's our right hand again. It's going to happen every time. The Another right hand, and now Tyson seems to be wobbled. Mike is not throwing back. Buster Douglas is completely dominating this round with jabs and right crosses. But what's going to do some damage now? Buster Douglas throw a double cut. Tyson leaps inside with a left hook. No, no. One punch at a time, though. That's all he's throwing. There's the uppercut. Absolutely, the opening is there. Buster Douglas is so relaxed, and this should save him in the later rounds if he should go that far. No, 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 no. 
It appears, Ray, that James Douglas is fighting a master fight in the geometry of the fight. Every time that Tyson...